Hello everyone. Welcome to Make It Monday with me. I'm Gail. I am the owner and founder of Glistening Water. And I haven't been able to do my lives in the last couple of weeks because I'm having some construction done in the house and it's been really noisy. But today, there's no one here. Yay. My poor cat. Anyway, um, I usually go earlier, and since it's dark so early, I kind of like to have something to do so that I don't feel like it's the middle of the night. Don't get me wrong. I like when the clocks turn back. That's the way nature made it. But in any event, that's a whole nother story. So... Today's project is a tray. Now, I don't know about any of you all, but trays and and me, no, it's not happening. I I don't know how people use it. Don't things fall over and spill and I don't know. But at a reuse center that we have here in Oneonta, they have these boxes that are wine crates and this is what they look like and you can purchase them i think they're like five dollars maybe a little bit more i'm not sure i don't remember because i bought quite a few of them and i thought that this would make a perfect tray because look how deep it is you know you can put things in here and it might not fall over as easily because it's like three and a half inches deep. Whereas those ones that are totally flat, forget it. I, it would, everything would be on the floor. So I thought that this would be a wonderful little addition to my seasonal decorating. And so what I did was, and I'm prepared this time, I painted it and there were some grooves there and there and on the other side. And I filled them with spackle, let it dry and shaved it off. And I decided I wanted to be able to, of course, change it out for the seasons because you know I'm all about seasonal decor. So I made a little insert um, out of foam core and I covered it with this um, like wood finished paper. And this is what we're gonna put the transfer on. And I can always turn it over and put different paper on here on this side and use it for Valentine's Day or winter or spring or summer. Um, and this is the transfer that we are going to use. I just think it's so cute. Um, I do like gingerbread. I used to make gingerbread houses, like big ones, um, when I was in college. And it fits perfectly. So, we are going to give this paper just a smidge of waxing so that um, the transfer won't stick. So how we do that is while I take this off and fuzz this. Oh, I did want to show you my sweatshirt. You see the sweatshirt? Remember puff paint or... Um, no, because this wasn't puffy. This was just the tulip fabric paint. And you would buy a book of designs and you would iron it on and you would get the outline and then you basically would color it in. I think I made this before I moved to Florida and I moved to Florida in 1993. So yeah, quite some time ago. And I love that it still exists. So a little side note, I digressed. Let me go get the wax because God forbid I should remember to bring everything to the table at the same time. 
So this is some of our wax. And just like this. And you take um, like any kind of cloth. This is just a rag cloth. And we do sell like um, wax applicator buffing pads, but not necessary. Um, I use this wax and then I also use um, a min wax. And for the paper, it's a little bit much. This is a little bit lighter. So we're just going to apply some wax to this and just so I have a little protection on the paper. It doesn't interfere with how um, the transfer works and just so because I have had it where um, the paper has come up when I pulled up the transfer. And I would like to avoid that. So, okay. That's waxed. Now, we have surfaces that are made out of wood. You know, it's like an MDF, but it has a wood finish on it. And I have coated it with wax and done a transfer. And then I have been able to remove the paste. And if it's a color that has stained, I might um, stain the wood. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Um, I'm fuzzing. And if you don't know what fuzzing is, it's when we take the transfer. Let me turn the camera down. Got to do that. No, I don't want to cancel. I'm going to... Why is this not turning downward? Okay. Um, you put the, the transfer on a towel. We also have fuzzing cloths. And basically, it just gets a little fuzz on the transfer so it's not so sticky. So between that and the wax, we should be good. Okay, so now we're going to lay this down. And if you hear a pathetic meowing in the background, that is my cat. His name is Spanky. And he's very silly. Okay. Now we're going to sm smooth it down so there are no bubbles. I sometimes forget to do this and then I get a bubble and I can't. I'm surprised. Well, so I hope everybody had a nice Monday and is getting ready for the turkey festivities. I hope um, everybody's got some nice plans. I don't know what I'm doing. And so we're going to be using a whole bunch of colors because what is life without colors? We're going to use some copper, some green, some dune, some red, some pink. Can't really use white because it's not going to show up. And because it's kind of big and I don't want it to... Um, the paste to get stuck in the transfer, I'm going to chalk and then pull up the transfer so that um, we can get the chalk on the paper transferred and um, move it right along. So I start up at the top and I'm taking a real risk by not putting on my double XL, but I just don't want to. Okay. So we're going to do the greens and we're using some meadow. And 
If anybody's watching, please tell me where you're watching from. I would love to be able to say hello. I don't see who is watching. So if you comment, that way I will know. So as you can see, I'm just putting on some of the color with a squeegee and getting some green on here. And I hope nobody is flying anywhere. I wouldn't want to be on a plane this weekend. A little too much goings on. And now I'm going to do the little berries. And for that, I'm using the multi-tool because the berries are little. And the reason I talk so much about the seasons is number one, it gives me something to decorate for because, well, right now I don't really have much decoration going on in my world, um, but it helps me, you know, get things on the walls and gives me something to celebrate because I just love the seasons. And we're going to do this in red. And then we're also going to do the peppermint stripe in red. I love how much detail is on these. And after I do this, and I'm going to do some of these peppermint. And I am going to make some cornbread stuffing because that is my favorite. And maybe I'll go over to a neighbor. Or maybe I will just get ready for um, a craft show that I have out in a mall um, about an hour and a half away from here. And I'm really excited to do it. I've never been out there. Okay. All right. Well, that seems to be enough because I'm afraid it's going to dry. So as you can see, I just lift it up. And now I just lie it right back down. And now I'm just going to go get another copper because that copper looks a little dried out. Mm, where is, well, I might have to use gold or maybe even, oh, this is copper. Could even use rose gold. That is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, so if they get dried out, um, you just have to add some water to it and mix it up. But I'm not going to take the time to do that now. And we're going to do our little gingerbread man. And I am not getting too crazy with the detail. I will try to do, to stay within the lines. Yeah, I wasn't very good at that. I wanted to, but kind of never. The only time I was able to stay within the lines was when we would outline the coloring page in black. And then I was able to stay in the lines. I don't know why. But anyway. I wonder if it's going to be a big shopping day at this mall. I hope it will be. It's so sad what's come of malls. I don't know about how old anybody is, but 
I like grew up at a mall. You know, like so many important stages of my life happened at a mall. We spent so much time there. You know, it was like our Saturday activity. Okay, now let's um, do pink for his little attire. And get some peony on there. And does anybody make special holiday cookies? I don't make cookies because I cannot be trusted around baked goods. I say, oh, I'll make this and I'll have it for, you know, a couple of days. No, I, I just don't seem to be able to do that. It's very sad. I cannot control myself around baked goods. I'm working on it. It is like one of my things that I constantly am working on. You know, the eating thing. I have a love-hate relationship with food. But that's a story for another day. And I like now, I think I like doing the, the lives at this hour. I went to the gym because I missed, I slept through my alarm and I missed my swim. Um, we're able to swim in the school pool um, between six and seven in the morning. And I did not hear my alarm, so I did not get up. So that's a bit of a problem if you want to swim because you have to get there at the right time. So I went to the gym, and because I don't have a shower, because I'm getting a new bathroom, I need, to, it's kind of good, because this way I have to work out every day, either swimming or going to the gym, so that I can shower. So it's a good way to create a habit, you know, not that going to the gym wasn't a habit, but it's not the same. If I had to say if there was anything I missed about Florida, I would say it's the gym. I do miss my gym because it, there were classes, there was camaraderie, and... It was fun. And this gym here is um, like self-manned. You have a key card and I could go there and I could be the only one in the gym. So it's kind of hard in that regard. But it's better than not going at all. And... Okay, let's see if we've got the, all the berries and some of these berries are going to be red-green because I'm not very neat. But then again, nature is not perfect either. And we're going to give this a lift. Okay. Okay, and back down it goes. It's a great technique to assure yourself that you're not um, going to get, you're not going to have your paste dry in the transfer. 
and then basically it looks like you don't have anything you know on the paper through the transfer it looks like it's just a mistake or something and now I'm just going to go around this little border and I mean I could have done it the easy way and just like done the whole thing in one color but you know what I mean, it, it would look nice, but that's just not me. And I'm making sure that I'm getting this copper into the silk screen. It's kind of a little funny because of the wax, but I didn't want to take a chance of the paper getting stuck and then the whole thing getting ruined. So, if I have to touch it up later, I can always wait for the whole thing to dry and then lay the, clean the transfer, lay the transfer back down and line it up and fill in the naked spots. And if anybody is interested in trying Chalk Couture, there is so many things on sale. And they're offering all this these wonderful kits um, at a reduced price. And you can get a surface and try it out. And then there's always... Um, Club Couture, which is our monthly subscription box. And it's the way to, it's a great way to build up your inventory of some transfers. Usually the transfers are, you know, seasonally um, appropriate, which works for me because when I talk about, you know, Chalk Couture, I, I encourage people, if they want to buy a transfer, to buy a seasonal one and not just a saying, because every season, you're going to do a little decorating, I hope, and you can pull out that transfer I'm using my finger to get this last bit down because I'm running out of patience. <laughs> I didn't really say that out loud, did I? Okay, so now we have these little swirly doughs and I we have Gingerbread Baking Company. And what color are we gonna do that in? Let's do that in a different green. Yes. Or we could do it in Dune. But I don't know if it'll come out. Well, you know what? Let's do it in Dune. And then I can always... No. No. Different idea. We're going to do it in copper. That's what we're going to do. And then we can go back and offset it, which would be kind of pretty if I don't like the way it comes out. Do you hear this pathetic meowing? You know what he wants. He wants me to go to a specific spot so that he can lie down and I can brush his fur. I mean, can we say spoiled? He's a very good boy, though. And occasionally I think of getting a second cat, but I'm deathly afraid that I'm going to get, you know, a devil cat. That, you know, we all see those things on YouTube. The cat that, you know, 
is from hell and destroys everything in the house. So I'm just going to stick with the one cat. I hope that didn't... Mm, I hope it didn't bleed underneath. But if it does, I'll deal with it. Half of my life is spent fixing crafting mistakes. I did a craft show this past weekend at Chenango Valley High School. And it was fascinating because there are people who have been in the same exact spot selling very similar things for at least 15 years, the same exact merch. And people come in looking for that exact person to sell them the same stuff that she's had, maybe different designs, but gosh, that's just, to me, that's just heaven. One day I hope to be able to get to that level of familiar, familiarness. I can never say that word, familiarity. It's a hard word to say. It, I don't know why I find it so hard, but I do. And we are getting to the end of this. And then I'm going to show you the handle that I want to put on my tray. Okay, I've got that little swirly done. And this little swirly. And then we will wash this sucker off. So for all you crafters out there, what has been your your craft of the season this year? For me, it's been kitchen towels with our ink and then heat set. And I think kitchen towels are great to use as gift wrap. So if you're giving a, a plate of cookies, you use the kitchen towel. Okay, let's pull this baby off. And I did get a smear right over there. I don't know why. And let's see what we can do about it. It's a pretty big schmear. So I'm going to pull some of it off. I don't know if you can see it. And then if I wanted to, I could cut a piece of paper and cover this up or just let it be. Well, I think that came out pretty good. Um, one little red spot here that I can fill in. Sometimes I do it with a paintbrush. Let's see. I got one right here. You see right there? And I can fill that in and then right up here with a flat bristle paintbrush. No one is the wiser.
Okay. Oh, I think that came out pretty cute. This one word fresh over here is pretty light. Um, that is what happens when the paste dries. So here it is. And you can see my little smudge on the A and the D that I either will use a, like a white out or white um, paste and paint over it or something like that. Or I might just leave it. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, get my painted box, and show you what I'm going to do for handles. Because I think that would look cute. And I'm going to use some burlap ribbon. It's kind of wide ribbon. I'm going to set all these paste jars aside. And I'm using this, I think it's like, um, it's like two and a half inch ribbon. Okay, so my idea, oh, I smell my glue gun. Okay. Um, so my idea is to put this underneath and make like a handle like this and then put some cord and do two of them and then put some cord in between. So I am going to get my staple gun. So this is a, this is a new staple gun. And I wasn't sure where the staples came out of this. And I wound up stapling my finger because I thought that the staples came out at the other end. So there are arrows that show you where the staples come out of, but obviously I was not paying attention. So we are going to go like this and I am going to staple. And staple. Okay. And then pull it underneath. And do the same. I'm kind of eyeballing it. And I need a scissor. And cutting it. Now, you don't have to do this with a wooden box. You could do this with a cardboard box that you've um, fortified. Okay. And let's do the same thing on the other side. This is very scientific, can't you see? And with all the measuring and yeah. Yeah, if it starts getting too scientific, I kind of zone out. And up here, it was bad enough measuring the paper to cover the foam core that I put inside. Okay. Well, that one didn't work. What happened here? It's jammed. Things are great until they're not, you know? Well, 
let's use the other staple gun. The reason I don't didn't want to use the other staple gun is that the staples are longer and you can't buy shorter staples for this staple gun. So, and other projects, the staples would come through, but this one seems to be okay. Okay, and let's go over here. And, and then I can, you know, put some bows on it if I want, really, you know, decorate it up because if you can embellish it, then we should. And I have one of those um, coffee tables that are sort of an, a really big ottoman. So those look really nice with these kind of trays on them. Not that upstairs looks like anything now because there's dust everywhere. Okay, so we've got this and this, and now we'll get some ribbon, or should I just use cord, or, because I would want to hold it like that, um, I think, I think, I think, I want to use, oh, this looks pretty. We can use this. Doesn't that look nice? That'll look nice. Okay. And yes, yes, we know I have a ribbon problem. And I'm just going to, let me put it like this, thread this through here and go like this. And go like that and then we need a little bit extra and I'm gonna make a little knot and the knot will be like in the bottom so that we don't see it. Okay. And we'll do right over left. That's a square knot and left over right. My mom had taught me that. And that's a pretty um, strong knot. And we'll turn this to go underneath. And I can hold it like that. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And then for the fraying, you take a, um, a lighter and you singe the edges like so, and they will stop fraying. Come on, you can do this. There we go. And cut this off. And I watch these, um, I, I don't know where it's from, because you never see the person's face. But they make these ribbon flowers, and they use a lighter to seal it. Man, I, I don't know how they do that, because they, um, they get really close, and... It's one of those old lighters, and those hurt your fingers. Okay, and let's do this one. A 
Whereas this is a little bit easier. It's a trigger and not as difficult to hold on to. Okay, so that's kind of sealed up a little bit. And you can just hold it over here. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Let's see if you can see it. So it's right over left. Right over left. And then left over right. And you get a square knot. That's very durable. Doesn't pull out. And then we'll cut the edges. Set them on fire. And we'll be done with my seasonal tray. And I really will stage this. Okay, let's dump that out. Oh, I wanted to hot glue this down on the bottom. And, and don't touch this that carefully because the glue comes right through the burlap and you want to see my boo-boo see right there that's from a glue gun burn not fun okay dump out that little melted thing and here is my tray bottom that I'll probably change out for Valentine's Day and how cute is this, right? I can actually hold this or I can hold it like, like this, you know, two of them together. And I actually think I could manage to not spill what's in here. So that is my wine box tray. I appreciate anyone who watches this and I hope you've had a lovely day. Bye.